My name is Don Standifer. I was born and raised in Taunik, Alaska. Still a commercial fish, which I enjoy. Taunik is located uh, approximately 49 miles southwest of Anchorage, uh, accessible by boat or airplane only. There's no roads to Taunik and no grocery store. With regard to all the uh, building materials and the groceries, everything has to be either flown in or barged in. The fuel in Taunik uh, is flown in with uh, unreliable service and we have to pay a really high price for, for gas. Yahalida, my name is Vaidi Kroto. I'm the executive director of the Tabona Foundation. Our village's small population is over a large remote area and depends heavily on the use of electricity for heating. With electric bills reaching $300 to $700 per month, many family groups have to live together to make up the costs. Where Tayonik is going, the Tabona Foundation partnered with Mike Burns, owner of the nonprofit C2P2, to address our energy and housing needs along with other projects like broadband internet and a cultural and language center. Our clean energy goals are threefold. Reduce the cost of energy within the community. Identify energy related roles in which community members may obtain meaningful training. Identify larger, more ambitious projects for developing local energy resources. Our best attainable option is to build a solar and wind farm. Four types of alternative energy have been analyzed for feasibility, wind, solar, tidal, and geothermal. This project aims to reduce energy bills in the community to an affordable and sustainable rate in a new upgraded green homes. Since 2007, we have been collaborating with local, tribal, and lower 48 states to see projects, programs, and educational support goals achieved to strengthen our community and support each other. An energy fair will kick off our project. Also a digital and paper handbook on the how-tos offered to potential agencies, private businesses, and our Alaskan villages. Our success awarded us opportunity to receive six projects with pro bono assistance. Our last grant was chosen to represent ANA in their 2019 congressional report. The impact benefits will endure financially for our village and many other communities. With traditional knowledge, we are not compromising our values, but enhancing them by restoring our clean energy missions and, of like old, gifting our knowledge for the benefit of all. Our vision is to preserve, enhance, educate, and serve.